What's up guys? Backwards Compatible Dad here, and what is this? Well, this is what you call an iMac, an iMac G3, one of Steve Jobs' greatest inventions of his time back at Apple. And I acquired this a little bit over a year ago off of Craigslist, and well, it's finally come to the time on my channel I wanted to venture off a little bit and show off some of my old tech. Now mainly, you know, so far on my channel it's mainly been gaming, game streaming, talking about consoles, and I've even done, you know, like some action, you know, action figure review, that kind of stuff. But I do want to bring into the channel now more of my vintage tech. I have acquired quite a bit now. Uh, I've got a couple of Sun Microsystems and that kind of thing, but uh, I did not have one of these back in the day when they came out. Uh, I actually had a Mac Performer uh, that, I, that I got back in 97, I believe, and I used that. Uh, for a while, but I never was able to get one of these. I always wanted one. So I got lucky enough to find one of these on Craigslist, and here it is. And uh, it has, I, I've actually installed some things on it, some of the same, same things that I had on my Mac Performa, and they work on this also. So we are going to see what you can do on an iMac from eh, early 2000s, most likely I think is when this second generation came out. Uh, we're going to see what you can do on this in 2021. Uh, now, I'm not going to take it apart. There are plenty of other videos on YouTube where people, you know, take these apart and show you what's inside them. I'm, you know, I might point out, you know, where certain things are on it, but uh, I, I don't want to, I'm a little hesitant, hesitant to do that, and, you know, I, I don't trust myself with taking it apart correctly, and, you know, so I'm not going to go there. <laughs> but I am going to fire it up. We're going to see what it has on it. And, um, yeah, let's get to it and check this thing out. Okay, guys, uh, I have everything set up right here now. And, uh, and of course, I just wanted to go over just a few of the specs and some special things about it. Uh, of course, we have to have a keyboard and a mouse to operate this. And, uh, well, the keyboard is translucent like the system. This is the keyboard that came with it. The original keyboard and then there well i couldn't also help but throw in this uh nice little mouse pad here y2k to uh yeah really get the feel for the era that uh, this kind of computer was out but yes this right here is the uh, very famous hockey puck mouse well maybe not so famous a lot of people uh, really didn't care for this i personally don't really have a problem with it i thought it it works fine for me and i i, I don't i don't find it hard to to operate or anything. Uh, but yeah, everything in the entire system is translucent. Even the cords, you see the wires through there. Uh, the cords are translucent. Uh, the cord going from the keyboard uh, to the port area, and this is the port area. And you know, you've got the standard USB and things in there like that, and uh, Ethernet. Uh, so there's all your ports, but yeah, all the cord is translucent or transparent. And even the cord around back, I'm sorry if this is blurring. Yeah, that cord also around back, uh, you can see all the wiring in that. And again, that's blurring a little bit, but yeah. Everything is translucent about the system. You can see all the insides there, yeah. Such a beautiful work of art. And really, Steve Jobs, he took these, he took computers to a new level. Uh, because before it wasn't about looks and then it kind of became, you know, you could show off your computer like you would a Ferrari or whatever else, <laughs> maybe not that. But anyway, uh, we are going to start this up here in a second and, uh, yeah, we might as well get to this. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to show you a little bit closer up, um, uh, and yeah, let's get into this. And before I start it up, yeah. Uh, I don't want to press this yet because I have got my headphone uh, mic on and I'm going to, you'll, you'll hear nothing but me <laughs> once I start this uh, and you won't hear the famous tone uh, that this thing dings as it starts up. I want you to hear that. So uh, let's start this up. Okay, here we go. And there are actually two spots you can boot the system. There is a button on the keyboard, and there's also one right here on the unit itself. Uh, but uh, I, th I usually like to press this one, so we'll start with that. 
Ah, did you hear that beautiful tone? That is the sound of a Mac starting. Okay, we are booting up now. And uh, I apologize for some of the scan lines you see in there. It's the type of monitor it is, you know. And the rest, everything around this is going to look so yellow now. <laughs> Now this is as, as, is as pretty much as close as I could get in, really. Uh, I, 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 I don't want to go in too much. Things might get blurred, but yeah, we're already starting up here. And here is our desktop environment. Okay. Mac OS 9. And uh, I don't know whether you can see it or not, but uh, look at the name of my hard drive up here. Can you see that? It says Nedryland. Do you know what that's from? <laughs> yeah, it's a little Jurassic Park thing. Uh, I, this is not the type of Mac that uh, Dennis Nedry, uh, <laughs> you know, the character Wayne Knight played in Jurassic Park. This is not the kind of Mac that he had on his desk. He actually had some silicon graphics, and uh, it was a maybe a 91 or 92 model Mac that they had on there. But I, I couldn't resist naming the hard drive that. Uh, you have to kind of pause the DVD and or, or Blu-ray and look real close, but that's the name <laughs> on his Mac. Anyway, let's see what we have in this thing now. Uh, okay, and I had installed quite a few things that I had put uh, on my other Mac Performa, and one of the things I installed was uh, several, yes, several uh, art programs like Adobe Illustrator, uh, which uh, the, the main one I wanted to open is my favorite, in, and that is Freehand 7. Uh, I used to do a lot of work in Freehand 7. And uh, so here we go. Everything opens up pretty speedy fast on this thing. And if we go right in here, I'll let you take a gander at... Let's see if I can find it. Yeah. Well, there's the uh, backwards compatible dad logo, as it would appear on white or black. <laughs> but uh, I actually didn't design that in this program. I actually designed that at work uh, because I had T-shirts made up, and then I brought it home on a on a USB and a flash drive, and then you know got it onto here and got an EPS and made it a freehand file. So yeah, that's the backwards compatible dad logo, and I, I don't know, I just always loved uh, Freehand 7, or, or any Freehand really, uh, it just worked better for me. Being a graphic designer, I just uh, like the setup better. Uh, although I have to use uh, Adobe Illustrator pretty much every day now, but uh, anyway, let's see what else we have here. Uh, on in here, we've got, uh, now I wanted to find, uh, let's see, uh, what else do we have in here? I'm looking for, if I can find it through here, I forgot where it was. And we've got the whole app works, you know, all the, ah, iMovie, here we go, yes, and iMovie, I'd like to open the, uh, let's go ahead and open, uh, can we open iMovie tutorial as is by itself? Let's see. Yes, yes, the iMovie tutorial. Now, there's some things about this application that, you know, I haven't been able to really figure out yet, uh, but I think you have to have a camcorder to plug in and get your captured videos off of. I've tried seeing if I can import other videos into this area, and I haven't been. This is These are just videos they included as part of the tutorial. And, uh, yeah, early Mac tutorials. Oh, because it's so fun giving a dirty, nasty, muddy dog a bath. It's so much fun, and it's just funny getting the bathtub ready. Oh, yeah. I think, <laughs> I tell you, it would be really cool to have a, uh, uh, here we go, getting the water ready. It would be really cool to see these kids today. <laughs> why, don't, why don't they do a uh, Where Are They Now uh, <laughs> iMovie, <laughs> uh, kids in the iMovie tutorial. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. Oh, yeah, because, you know, dogs and splashy fun are so funny, yeah. Oh, yeah, you got to capture this on video, of course, you have to, you know. 
Yeah, and you got to spray the cameraman. Oh, funny, funny, funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's so funny to give a dog a bath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So again, yeah, there's the iMovie tutorial. But again, I haven't been able to figure out how to import uh, any other clips. You know, I, I have a couple of clips out here. I think one that I tried to import, it just won't do it. And uh, it, it will import pictures, but it's like you can only get them off of a camcorder. And I wonder if that had to be a camcorder. Obviously, that would have been specific uh, to be able to use with this Mac. Who knows? But yeah, I just haven't been able to figure anything out with this program. Uh, it looks like it would be pretty nice, but uh, yeah, I can watch the tutorial and that's pretty much about it. Now, well, yeah, for example, about movie clips, you know, I had actually got, uh, I had filmed this one movie clip of myself as, and this thing will play AVIs. Uh, and yeah, this is from, I think, uh, maybe early, early January of 2020, maybe, or maybe December of 2019. I'm not sure, but, uh, yeah, this will play. I can't get this to import into, uh, uh, iMovie at all, but, uh, yeah, this thing does play, um, does play AVIs. Uh, you would think that it could import it into that program, but, uh, apparently not. And I actually filmed this video with a, uh, an old, uh, yeah, that, an old, uh, a webcam that I found at a Goodwill. And, uh, of course it was only, you know, it, it only works for my Windows XP system. But uh, yeah, to do a quick video with, was able to get it on here. Just can't import it into iMovie. Okay, now, and I I didn't mention it, but I am, this is obviously not hooked up to the internet. And uh, I, for number one, I don't have line internet. I know that's hard to believe. Uh, I rely everything on a hotspot, but uh, there's really no way to get this hooked up. And even if it was hooked up, uh, the browser would move so slow and nothing would come up hardly because of the age of the computer and how fast the Internet has become. It just wouldn't work. Okay, and let's, for the heck of it, let's look at a couple of the appearance uh, options here. And I want to show you one that's really funny. And, of course, these are themes, you know, desktop themes. Uh, you've got traditional ones. Uh, you've got the, the famous, uh, yeah, the famous flying saucers, yellow. Uh, let's see, what else you got? You've got uh, bubbles, and this is another one. Remember this one from back in the day? Yeah, they had this on uh, the systems mounted there at Comp USA <laughs> on display. And what others do we have? Now, this is the funny one. <laughs> this really purpley theme. Uh, let me move this out of the way here. Actually, I can just do that, can I? Yes. What does that look like? Looks a little bit like COVID, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Uh, it's a lot more purple, if you can see it with your own eyes, than on here. Uh, the camera's just making it very blue, but it is a very purple uh, desktop wallpaper. And it just, yeah, these spiky things on these, <laughs> it looks like uh, COVID-19 virus. Uh, very strange that... Uh, Something like this. It, it's similar to it anyway, but uh, was around. It's very strange that something like this was around that far back. But yeah, you got all kinds of color options. Here's another pretty standard. Uh, yeah, that was also standard back in the day. Uh, so and you know you can you can click on and off the sounds that you want. But uh, where do we have it at? I might just leave it on this one for now and go back to our sound. I do want platinum sounds activated. So yeah. Got to have those sounds in there. Yeah, so as you can see, guys, there is plenty of things that you can do on a computer that's 20 plus years old. Uh, you know, uh, it, and it's, it's just up to you. Uh, but, I mean, uh, it depends on what you have to, you know, be what you can install or what might already be on there. But I, fortunately, I had a, a, a library of uh, Mac software. Now, one that I tried installing that I was not able to install because an error kept popping up was a program called Ray Dream Studio, which was a 3D animation program. And it seems like the area that kept the era that kept popping up, the error, I'll get it out in a minute, uh, that kept coming up, had something to do with the memory, which kind of surprised me. But anyway, I uh, was not able to run that one. But 
Among other things on here, of course, we have games. And one of those games that I was able to see on here, unless it's, uh, wait a minute, it's still here somewhere, is it not? Let's see. Surely. And I hope you can hear all the uh, the sounds and the click sounds every time this thing. Uh, was this Apple Extras? Uh, let's see. They had the weirdest place that they, ah, there we go, bugged them. Bugged them. Uh, and I believe this is a game that probably came with the system as, you know, when it was new. Uh, I, I'm not sure whether they installed it on there, the previous owner, but it seems like it is probably something that, something that came with the system itself. Pangea Soft. Pangea Software Incorporated, 1999. Hmm. Okay. And, oh, we have to hit the space bar. There we go. Pangea Software. In the review font? Yes. Okay. Okay. Hit that again. And let's start a game. Start. Level one, of course. And this, you know, I could keep going on with this, but I mean, let's hit the, okay, here we go. And as you get, you can actually use the mouse, which I don't care for really. I like using the, uh, where am I going here? You gotta watch out for these snail guys here. I'm just using the, the keys right here. You gotta watch out for these snails and you gotta set these spider guys, these spiders free out of this thing, I think. I'm not sure. Uh, I gotta get there first, but, uh, yeah, so the gaming runs pretty well through this. Oh, can I break these guys out? Yeah. There, he's free. Ladybugs, not spiders. They've been captured by spiders. You gotta set the ladybugs free. And uh, watch out for that guy. Okay, over here, set them free. Yada da. Oh, yeah, cute little kids game. Okay, anyway. <laughs> that is Bugdom. Okay. And we can leave it, of course. Exit program. So, yeah, you can play games on a 20-year-old plus system. So, yeah, I just wanted to, you know, show you some of the many things that can still be done on a uh, computer this old. And, you know, I was just really happy when I was able to get this system. I mean, it, it's such an iconic uh, piece of hardware that, you know, I mean, it just, there was nothing else like it before, and there's really... Uh, been nothing else like it since. Uh, but I mean, you know, it's just, <laughs> this thing was available in multiple colors. Uh, you know, it's an all-in-one system. You don't have to worry about a tower. So, you know, just a lot of conveniences to it, you know, for the time it came out. Now, and I'm typically, you know, I used Max a whole lot uh, back in the day, early on, you know, in my career, as far as using, using graphics and that kind of thing. But, um, yeah, it's just... Uh, you know, I'm t but today I'm pretty much a, you know, more of a, uh, I tend to use more GNU Linux and Unix type system stuff, uh, not really Macs anymore. Um, uh, and I have to use a, you know, a, a PC commonly, you know, every day at work and for among other things. But I mean, yeah, it's just, uh, but uh, this Mac, yeah, uh, one of my favorites. And, um, yeah, I just wanted to show everybody, you know, what can what you can still do on one of these. And surprisingly, you can still do quite a lot. And, uh, yeah, if you like this video, uh, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you have not subscribed to the channel, so hit that subscribe button. And this is Backwards Compatible Dad. And I hope you like this video. And I will be doing more, uh, you know, kind of retro, uh, retro computer uh, stuff later on. I don't. I don't know what exactly I'll do. I know I'll do my uh, Sun Microsystems eventually, but I wanted to start off with this good old iMac. Hope you enjoy the video. Take care, guys, and I will see you next time. Thanks. Bye.